knockout loss in Las Vegas. He has recovered. Got a lot of victories in a row. You see he's got the reach advantage, though Dale Crow, a very, very tough customer, a veteran, has the weight advantage. Carl Williamson, though, a young 33. There he is, the heavily tattooed Dale Crow, and he's standing by with Sean O'Grady. Sean? Yeah, I'm talking to Dale Crow first, who's sporting that Rich Murata haircut. Dale Crow, you're a little angry at this fight because uh, your opponent, the barrel, has been talking smack all week. He, how are you going to attack? So I could give him a, just make it a fight. Make it a fight. He's supposed to be the first guy to knock me out, and he's a touch of sleep, so what can you say? You know, I'm a chin of, chin of concrete. We'll, we'll, see, chin. we'll that, see who's a liar. He's got a granite chin, and that's nothing to take for granted. Good luck, Dale Crow. Let me go over and talk to the barrel real quick. Devero, how, how are you going to attack in this fight? Well, I'm going to start out with a good, first I'm going to start with a good jab. Then I'm yeah. going to go behind with the right hand and look for the left hook, look for the body shots. And um, but it all starts yeah. with a jab. It all starts with a jab. All right, jab. that's it. They're ready to go. They both know what they're going to do. This should be an interesting matchup, guys. All right, thank you, Sean. Touch of Sleep is the nickname for Devaro Williamson, former National Golden Gloves champion. Just a tremendous amateur career. That one loss, we were there for that in Las Vegas, the TKO lost to Ladies Willie and Shot. gentlemen, we continue with the action here at the Las Vegas Hilton with our co-main event scheduled for eight rounds in the heavyweight division. Our three judges will be Bill Graham, Al Lefkowitz, and Glenn Trowbridge, and your referee in charge is Toby Gibson. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at 226 pounds. He's wearing blue and white trunks. He comes to us from Cincinnati, Ohio. His professional record stands at 21 wins with five defeats, two draws, 13 wins by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Dale Crow. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 211 pounds. He's wearing red and black trunks. He comes to us from Denver, Colorado. He was a five-time national amateur champion. As a professional, he has an outstanding record consisting of 15 wins with 14 wins by knockout, only one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Deverell, a touch of sleep, Williamson. Williamson has bounced back nicely from that lone loss. He fought nine times in 2001. This is his fourth fight of 2002. Referee Toby Gibson sporting a Let's go. new mustache for Toby. That's where you're going to wear, wear your belt tonight? Or are you going to wear your trunks up? That's up to you guys. Okay, I'm going to let box, box, both corners know I'm considering this a legal punch since the trunks are a little high on each boxer. Gentlemen, I've given your instructions in your respective dressing rooms prior to this fight. Do I have any questions from the blue corner? Do I have any questions from the red corner? Give me a clean fight and good luck to both of you. Carl Williamson is one of the few boxers out there who has a master's degree. Yes, a master's degree. There are the Nevada rules. Three knockdown rule, not in effect, no standing eight. The fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round, and the fight stopped due to a headbutt. Go to the cards after four rounds. Carl Williamson got his master's degree from Northern Michigan University as he trained under Al Mitchell. Also got his Bachelor of Science degree from Wayne State, just outside of Detroit, where he played football. He was a quarterback, he even tried out for the Indianapolis Colts. Love to throw a couple touchdown passes against the chin of Dale Crow tonight. Good straight right hand as Crow came in and he goes down. Flash knockdown there. Five losses, 21, 5, and 2. That's 13 knockouts to his credit. Carl Williamson is 15 and 1 with 14 knockouts. Look the eyes of Carl Williamson. He is very, very confident after scoring that quick knockdown over Pro earlier here in the first. He's on the schedule for eight rounds. Offensively, scored that first knockdown. 
Very, very impressive round one for Devera Williamson, knocking Dale Crow down three times. This is the first knockdown. You see Crow walking straight into that big right hand. And boy, he went down in a hurry. It's the second knockdown right on his back. Keep him up, both of you. See the legs a little wobbly for Dale Crow. Live action underway again, round two. This fight's scheduled for eight. <laughs> amateur background for DeVero Williamson. He hired his professional career somewhat at the time, 33 years old, just doing the business. But he got his college degree, got his master's degree, traveled the globe as an amateur. Not make the Olympic team. Never was an Olympic, was an Olympic alternate. If that was a punch or a headbutt or an elbow while well, they went down, but in any event, the blood flowing from the left eye of Dale Crow. Crow has done very little so far in this fight. It's been all tomorrow, Williams. Cut was from the head. The referee Toby Gibson said the cut was from a headbutt. Straight right hand. Crow not doing what his corner told him. Corner told him to go to his right, away from the power of Javar Williams. And what does he do? Keeps moving to his left. Javar Williams looking at his eyes. Right on the target. Big enough to be a contender in the heavyweight division. He certainly has the punching power. You just have to wonder against a big puncher whether he can hang in. Right now he's doing great against Dale Crow. Williams. 
Rams. Crow breathing heavily right now. His eye, his left eye bleeding. Doesn't like the body shots. Right now, DeVar Williamson is beating Dale Crow up. Yeah, give me a break. Time. He's bringing the doctor in to check that eye of Dale Crow. Headbutt. When they wrestled up, when they wrestled to the floor. Called okay. by Toby Gibson. He was on top of that. Tell the doctor to get out. No. Oh, Williamson asking if that's the fight. Now Crow's legs are just in bad shape. He's got bad footwork. He's wobbling. Now a question. There's the end of the second. You got a question. How Dale Crow trained for this fight? Rich. Rich. That was caused by the heads when they went to the floor. Toby Gibson well, confirming that the was a headbutt. Cut from an accidental butt when you guys went to the floor. Let's go to the corner of DeMar Williams, and that has to be a happy corner right now. Their man on cruise control. Every time you see dudes, get you straight up, and you're pulling your jab. Snap that jab off and just move. And Round number one, DeMar Williamson put Dale Crow down three times. Come on, Round three underway. There he is, Terrence Lewis getting set for the main event against Robert Davis. That's coming up next. Yeah, finally doing something offensively. Let's see if he can sustain something offensively here against DeVarro Williams. Throws feet, just you can hear the corner say, keep your feet up. I mean, he's got his feet up in the air. Terrible footwork by Dale Crow in this fight so far. Body shot by Williams. He's telling Dale Crow to move to his right. He keeps moving to his left, which makes you question whether he knows his right from his left right now. Now he's moving to his right. He's to the right. What do you see? Nice effort cut. You saw the right foot come up off the canvas. Almost lifted him completely off the canvas. Crow has taken a lot of punishment in a short period of time here in this fight. Williamson getting a little lazy with things coming too easy for him right now. There's the uppercut, there he walks down Crow again, he goes down again. Fourth time in this fight he's been down. That time from the uppercut. Five, six, seven, eight, walk to me. All right. So listening to the referee, Toby Gibson. I'm telling you. Let's go. That doesn't really take much more. Ron Williamson could finish it here if he can get another knockdown, I believe. Another right hand by Williamson. Ron needs to do something offensively. He's just catching punches right now. Now the body shot. Does not like the body shot. Another right hand by Williamson. Williamson senses that the ref might stop it. There's Crow battling back. Body shot. Right hand of the head. Another body shot for Williamson. Crow sitting back, and this fight is over. Good stoppage by Toby Gibson. It was inevitable that Williamson would knock him out. I think he saved Dale Crow a lot more punishment by stopping the fight. Huge win for DeMar Williamson beating the veteran Dale Crow. Maybe Williamson's best victory today. Very impressive. Runs his record to 16 and 1. That is his 15th win by knockout. 33 years old, DeMar Williamson does not have a lot of time. You moved right into him, baby. You moved right into him. Crow obviously not very Maybe happy with this result. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. 
There he is, the winner, DeVaro Williamson. Coming home. Going home to Denver, now making his home in Denver. Born in Washington, D.C. Dale Crow going back home to Cincinnati. Mara Williamson, very impressive victory. Question remains, is he big enough? Can he hit hard enough to move up the ladder in the heavyweight division? Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 2 minutes 26 seconds of the third round as referee Toby Gibson stops this bout. The winner by TKO victory, DeVarrell, a touch of sleep, Williamson. A touch of sleep will sleep well tonight with another victory. That's his 16th win, 15th by knockout. Thanks, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Sorry, shouldn't have. No, sorry, couldn't last a little bit. Sean O'Grady. Nice job over there. Up in the ring. Looking back, action, that's Dale Crow going down. That was the first knockdown in round one. Crow went down four times in all, three times in the first, and once in the third. These are the knockdowns from uh, round one. This is the knockdown from the fourth round. Look at his legs. I mean, completely gone. And here is how it ended. Toby Gibson had sensed that it could end that way. He mentioned it to Crow. Let's go to Sean O'Grady. He's up in the ring with Devaro Williamson. Happy to win another, his 16th victory as a professional. Maybe Thanks, guys. Sometimes you get these names at a touch of sleep. You're not really quite sure what, what the meaning behind them is, but I think we all saw the meaning behind a touch of sleep in this fight. What did it look like from you? Well, exactly what it looked like, Sean. It looked like uh, a touch of sleep was here in Las Vegas, Nevada, here at the Hilton, the Hotel Hilton. And uh, I was very excited about uh, my durable opponent, uh, Dale Crow. And we stayed behind the jab and took care of business. You set your jab in that opening round. Everything else worked off that. How important was that jab? Oh, gosh, I can't overemphasize the, enough the use of a good jab. Now, sometimes I didn't use it good because I was pawn with it. And my coach, George Durbin, reminded me about that in the corner. So I came back out and tried to use the stiff jab as often as I could. Equal power. You knocked him down once with the right hand and then another time with the left hand. How, what, what's your best punch? Yeah, uh, I think my best punch is definitely my left hook to the body. That's my wife. Shalifa yeah. thinks it is. It's, uh, my you don't hit her with it. Oh, God, no. no but she she, she <laughs> thinks about him sparring and tapes and things like that. She yeah. said, I don't use it enough, but the right hand has been working very, very good for me, and the left hand is coming along. Well, against the southpaw fighters, you're taught, as you know, to throw a straight right hand, and I think that's what you threw in the first know, knockdown like of him. Said, what were you thinking? Uh, I was thinking just to, uh, to time it. He kind of lunges with his left hand, so I tried to take a half step back that I learned so well in the amateurs and come back with my own straight right hand and get out of the way of his left hand, and it worked beautiful. He kind of ran right into it. And it wasn't really a bunch of power, it was just his quickness. And I think the first one was a flash knockdown, the second one was a, a very good knockdown. Yeah, yeah well, they were all very good knockdowns. It was a very exciting fight. As short as it lasted, it was very exciting for you. And I know you're, you're happy to get this win. Del Cruz yes, is a tough guy. Never been down, never been out. Well, I, you know, God bless him. I'm hoping he's okay. And I'm going back to Denver and I'm looking forward to training right. again and getting ready for the next fight. Good kid. All Thank right, you. way to go. The Vera Williamson, huh? How about that? Nice kid, too, on top of all that. Barry and Rich. And Larry here, Larry Michael with Heavyweight Explosion. He has a master's degree. He is a smart fighter, also a powerful one. Marl Williamson, 